Your doctors are depending on a special band of unsung heroes to help them treat your cancer. At LLS, we call these heroes the Extraordinary League of Blood Cancer Tests. Today, we'll meet a special forces unit of tests that gets really small. And we mean tiny, because we're talking about the molecular profiling tests. If you're asked to have one of these tests, you may have questions like, what exactly is molecular profiling? And what kind of tests might my doctor order? And what can I expect? But to answer these questions properly, you really have to understand how cancer works. See, your body is made of trillions of cells. Healthy cells typically grow and divide to form new cells. When old or damaged cells die, new cells take their place. But if those cells mutate, they can behave very differently. In this case, old and damaged cells survive and mutated cells may start dividing out of control, crowding out the healthy cells. Now, every kind of cell, even cancer cells, have their own unique set of characteristics. And every kind of cell has unique biological markers, or biomarkers, that indicate whether those cells are behaving normally or not. And that's where molecular profiling comes in. See, molecular profiling uses incredibly sensitive technologies to identify these cancer biomarkers. It helps detect and diagnose disease much more accurately. It allows doctors to predict responses to therapy, track your treatment, and even help determine whether your cancer has returned. And because every person's biomarkers are unique to them, molecular profiling allows your doctor to personalize your treatment to your one-of-a-kind needs. Some of the most common molecular profiling tests include immunohistochemistry, or IHC, quantitative polymerase chain reaction, more commonly known as qPCR, next-generation sequencing, and something called fluorescence in situ hybridization, though it's more commonly called the FISH test. How do your doctors perform these tests? Many of the tests require a sample of your bone marrow, which is the spongy tissue in the center of most bones that produce blood cells. Other times, all they'll need is a small sample of your blood. They might even do a lymph node biopsy, where they surgically remove a lymph node. Your doctor can give you more details on how each specific test is administered. But no matter how the test is done, remember, these advanced tests are incredibly sensitive and can really help your doctors diagnose your disease as well as help them make treatment decisions. So fear not. The molecular profiling tests, along with the rest of the extraordinary league of blood cancer tests, will always be there to bravely light the way on your journey towards recovery.